Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to insert multiple rows in SQL table. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is, how to insert multiple rows in SQL. So, let's quickly take a look at the syntax that we will be using for inserting multiple rows in a table using SQL. Now, the syntax is as follows. Now, here you have the insert and into keywords. Table name is the user defined name for the table. Then you have the columns that is column number one, two, and etc. Then after declaring the column names, you have the keyword values, which will help SQL understand this is a tuple and these are the values involved inside the tuple. That is row 1, value 1, row 1, value 2, so on and row 1, value n. So this type of syntax will help you to add one tuple at one time and this will take a lot of time to process. You can see to insert the next tuple, we are writing a completely new syntax once again using the same insert into table name, column 1, 2, 3, n values and row number 2 that is the second tuple. Right. So this type of code will take longer duration to run as well as it will take longer lines or number of lines will be extra so is there a way where you can add multiple tuples in one single go yes there is so the syntax will be completely same right so you will be using one insert into keyword one table name and once you will be declaring all the column numbers and once you will be using the values keyword the only difference is you will be adding multiple tuples under the values bracket right you will be declaring the number of values you want to include in one single go and this whole query becomes as a whole and once you run this query all the values will be added at once now that you are clear with the syntax let's quickly get back to the sql workbench and try to run this command now we are on the mysql workbench let's quickly log in there you go we have logged in let's use the simply learn database once again so that we get access to the data which we have so we already have an employees table so let's see what's presently included in employees table select star from employee -E table semicolon so this is the data that we already have in our table now let's try to add some more data so now we will include one single element or one single tuple data related to one single employee right using the first type of syntax let's quickly execute this the command got executed again let's quickly see what's present in the table select star from employee table again you can see i'm using lowercase for the user defined keywords and uppercase for the predefined keywords just to make sure that the code is understandable and which is the user defined keyword and which is the predefined keyword so these are the the ones in small case are user defined and the ones in uppercase are predefined right so we have successfully included one single element or one single tuple the details which are related to brian and now let's try to modify the same code and try to include a few more tuples inside the same insert command and try to insert multiple rows into the table now here you can see we are using the same insert into employee table command and instead of brian we replaced or we added six more entries under the values section right and the only difference is we are trying to separate the tuples using a comma you can see we are enclosing one tuple inside the parenthesis and we are separating two tuples with the help of a comma 
right ensure that you include comma between every tuple and you can ignore the comma for the last tuple you can see we are not using any sort of comma or any sort of specifier at the end right so and we are closing the command using the semicolon and this explains sql that it is the end now we are going to run this command and see the output so there you go the command got successfully executed now let's again execute the select command and see if the data is involved or included or inserted into the given employee table now there you go the command got successfully executed and you can see the table over here and you can see that all the data or all the tuples we included into the table using the insert command in one go are successfully included so that's how you insert multiple rows into a table using sql now with that we have come to an end of this session and if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the resources that we used in this session like ppt code document etc then do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest until next time thank you stay safe and keep learning Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.